Getting your Google business profile listed in a Google Map Pack results is like participating to a small business Olympic event. With only three spots available, any business ranking in position four and above will not step on the podium and miss out on all the glory. I mean, all the traffic the top spots can provide. If you spent most of 2021 trying to rank your Google business profile in the Google Map Pack unsuccessfully, stay tuned because today I'm going to coach you so you can win a medal in 2022. Hi there, if you're new here, my name is Luke Duran, the founder of rankingacademy.co.uk. This channel is all about helping small business owners like you to grow their businesses through online marketing. If you wanna see my future videos, subscribe and click on the bell button so you won't miss a thing. Getting your business profile included in the local pack results is actually very simple. You just need to know what key factors Google uses to rank local businesses and apply them to your own business profile. The problem is A, Google never reveals what these key factors are and B, they tend to change over time. So what can you do? Thankfully, every year a company called whitespark.ca publishes the list of the most influential Google local search ranking factors so we can understand what really works and where local businesses should focus their efforts. And before you ask, no, they don't have any privileged relationship with someone at Google who gives them the list. The local search ranking factor list is the result of a survey from the top experts in the local search industry. It is based on a decade of research, in-depth analysis, experience and testing from which these local experts are able to draw conclusions about which specific signals Google is using to evaluate and rank businesses. I personally refer to this list all the time and thoroughly recommend you go through it yourself as it will help you way beyond ranking in the Google Map Pack. I've put a link in the description below. Today, I'm only going to focus on the factors that make the biggest impact if you want to rank in the Google Map Pack and how you can use them to your advantage. For that, I'm going to jump on the computer. Head over to the link that is showing up on your screen, which is also available in the description below. From the left-hand side menu, click on the local pack slash finder individual ranking factors. This will take you to a page that lists the top 20 most influential local pack ranking factors. This result has been compiled based on analysis conducted through 2021 and should be used to drive your strategy in 2022. Let's start with the most important one, your primary Google business profile category. Just like last year, the primary category you choose for your profile is still the most important factor of them all. I've mentioned this in many of my previous videos. Make sure you choose a primary category that is the nearest match to the keywords you are trying to rank for. Although the choice of primary category can be straightforward in some industries, for example, if you are a plumber, you would choose plumber. For other industries, it can be a bit trickier. If you are an attorney, for example, the choice may not be so obvious. So make sure you choose carefully. At number two, we have keywords in Google business profile title. Having the keywords you are targeting in your business title makes a huge difference to your rankings. I tested this myself by adding keywords I was targeting to a business profile I own and within 96 hours it hit the top spot in the map pack. Unfortunately, you can't just stuff keywords in your business title willy-nilly as it is against the Google's guidelines. The only way to take advantage of this would be to rename your business so it legitimately includes the keywords you are targeting in your name. Here is an example for a handyman located in Tampa who has his main keyword handyman and his location keyword Tampa in his name, which I'm sure has helped him to claim the top spot in the Google Map Pack. Believe it or not, some businesses make the decision to change their name just for this reason. Let's now have a look at factor number three, proximity of address to the point of search. This one is all about the distance between your business and the person who is conducting a search for a business like yours. The closer you are to that person, the higher your listing will show. Unfortunately, there is very little you can do about this factor as you can't control searcher's location. So let's move on to factor number four. Physical address in city of search. This is pretty self-explanatory. If your business is located in a city where you want to rank for, then you're more likely to rank in the map pack. If not, depending on the competition, it's unlikely you will. Let's say, for example, you're an electrician located in Castle Rock, Colorado, and you are trying to get clients from the nearest big city, Denver. 
the chances of your listing showing up in the map pack for anyone searching for an electrician in Denver will be slim to none. The solution? Relocate your business where there is more demand, which is also what some businesses have done. Factor number five, additional Google business profile categories. Although your primary category is the most important ranking factor, adding secondary categories comes at number five. This is somehow very often overlooked by many businesses despite being so simple to implement. You can add up to nine secondary categories. Obviously, make sure they are relevant to your activity. Quick tip. If you want to find out what categories your competitors are using, go to the Google Chrome Web Store and install an extension called GMB Everywhere. Once done, go to Google Maps and search for a specific business or a keyword you are targeting. GMB Everywhere will highlight which categories each listing is using. Up to you to add the same to your listing. You can download the GMB Everywhere Chrome extension from the description below. At number six, we have high numerical Google ratings. This is a fairly simple one. Make sure your average review rating is high enough by providing your customers with the best possible service. Note, having a five out of five rating is not necessarily a good idea as it looks suspicious to many visitors. This study shows that an average rating of 4.2 to 4.5 stars is more trustworthy and that even negative reviews can have a positive impact. So don't panic if you get one or two. Moving on to factor number seven, completeness of your listing. Make sure you fill in each and every field of your profile so it is as complete as possible. Note, even when you do so, you will see a message on your dashboard telling you your profile is only 80% complete and that you need to add a logo. Don't worry, this is a bug and happened to all listings, so ignore this message. Factor number eight, quality, authority of inbound links to your domain. An inbound link is a link from another website pointing back to your site. Google looks at the number and quality of links pointing to your site as a signal to determine how strong your site is in comparison to others. The more links you have pointing to your site, the stronger your site will be, the higher your profile will rank. Work on getting more links pointing to your website to rank higher. Quick tip. Try getting links from other local websites as they will be far more relevant. At number nine, we have keywords in native Google reviews. If you look at your business profile and click on reviews, you may have noticed a section called people often mention, which aggregates the most recurring keywords within reviews. Google uses this to provide more information to visitors, but also to rank your listing in search results. Encouraging customers to leave reviews that include the keywords you are targeting is therefore something you should consider as part of your strategy. If you need help on how to do this, you can download my free review email template, which is specifically designed for this very purpose. Unfortunately, Google doesn't provide all the keywords that are being used in customer reviews. You can, however, find all the details using the GMB Everywhere Chrome extension. Just go to Google Maps and search for your business. GMB Everywhere will overlay some buttons on your listing, one of which called Review Audit. Click on it and wait for a few seconds, then scroll all the way down. You should see a full breakdown of all the keywords being used in your reviews that will help you understand which ones you should be working on. Factor number 10 is all about removing spam listings through spam fighting. If you don't know what this means, here is a quick explanation. Many unscrupulous business owners do not follow Google's guidelines when creating a profile for their business so they can rank above their competitors. Typical malpractice would include adding keywords to their business names, like in this example for an HVAC contractor who has clearly added keywords to his business title and ranks in the map pack. A lot of businesses also decide to create fake listings to cast a wider net in their local area. If you find that any of these listings rank above yours for the keywords you are targeting, report them to Google using the Google redressal form. When the listing gets removed or updated with the correct information, your listing will climb up the rankings. Factor number 11 is all about adding keywords in your Google profile landing page. Your Google profile landing page is the page that your business profile panel points to from the website button, which in most cases will be the homepage of your website. 
Making sure the main keyword you are targeting is included in the meta title of your page will influence your rankings. At number 12, we have quantity of native Google reviews. This one is really straightforward. The more Google reviews you get, the more likely you will rank in the map pack. Note, your rankings will not improve at the same pace as your reviews, as the influence of reviews diminishes after you've collected a certain number of them. Factor number 13, verified Google business profile. This may seem obvious to you as you are watching this video, but many business listings out there are yet to be verified. I am assuming yours is okay. If not, just verify it now. Factor number 14, Internal linking across entire website. Just like secondary categories, this is another recurring oversight from business owners and yet so easy to implement. Check the content of your pages and turn some of your copy into links that points to other important pages within your site. This will add relevance to the pages that are linked to, especially if you use the keywords you are targeting. At number 15, we have geographic keyword relevance domain content. This is a bit of a mouthful, but it essentially means you should add the location keyword you are targeting as part of your content, like for this pest control specialist in San Diego. Make sure you add it to strategic places such as the meta title, the page title, and dot it around the paragraphs. Don't overdo it, it needs to look natural. At number 16, we have quality authority of inbound links to Google profile landing page URL. Factor number eight was all about quality authority of inbound links to any page on your site. This is very similar, but instead the focus is on building links to the page your website button is linking to, also known as your Google profile landing page. Factor number 17 is proper placement of map pin. This is exactly what it says on the tin. Occasionally, Google doesn't get it right. Double check the pin placement that was added for your business on the map is correctly implemented. If not, you can amend it to the right location. At number 18, we have the page authority of your Google business profile landing page. This goes hand in hand with factor number 16. The more quality links you have pointing to your Google business profile landing page, the more authoritative it will be. So make sure you get more links pointing to it so you can rank higher. At number 19, we have yet another factor in direct relation with your Google business profile landing page, and this time it's all about internal linking. Just like we covered in factor 14, check the content of your pages on your website, but this time turn some of your copy into link that points directly to your Google business profile landing page. Last but not least, at number 20, we have the final factor, which is also about the Google profile landing page. This time, it's all about adding the keyword you are targeting on the page itself in key places such as headers and title tags. There is clearly a crossover with factor number 15, geographic keyword relevance, so I suggest your landing page includes both. That's it for today, guys. Try ticking as many boxes as you can from this list, and I can assure you, your listing will be fit for a spot in the map pack in 2022. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below. And until next time, happy marketing.